I'm putting this video up merely to show uh, some artifacts that come from this arrangement. I'm not really going to go into detail on what's here. I'll basically go over it though so you kind of get an understanding. Here's the L3 off of the collector out of the 400 uh, picofarad cap off of the collector. I have four coils here. They're all independent coils. Uh, each one has a lead on it, a red lead. You can see the intensity from them. The end that has a lead, each coil has an AV plug and a lead. The other end of the coil is open. It's just sticking up here in the air. The L3 coil is not connected. It's actually got a little neon hook to the end of it. And what's important is not really this. What I want to show is that it is running fairly small. Uh, power rating here, 12 volts, 8 milliamps. But what's very interesting about this is the intermixing and the generation of secondary frequencies because of this arrangement and the fact that we have four AV plugs with the LEDs on here. We're getting a tremendous spectral response out of this. Let me show it to you. If you take a look at this, my Span is 400 megahertz. So we're 400 megahertz from here to here. My center frequency is 200 megahertz. And you can see what we've got here. This is all coming from this ring of fire that I have sitting connected to the exciter. Let me go ahead and detune it while you're watching this. And you'll see this change. Look at the action of this guy. And indeed, because of this arrangement and the feedback that's going on within the coils, I can't really stop the oscillation. I guess I could by uh, grabbing it here. Yeah, I've reduced it considerably. I'm hanging on to the transistor. If I take and kill the power to it, you see what happens. Now that uh, is the FM band just to the left there. Uh, because we're such wide bandwidth you don't see the definition of all the channels, but that's the FM band. Okay, there we're back on again. Now why don't you go ahead and take a look at this thing while I tune it. I think you'll find it interesting. The coils are not perfectly matched. And so as I tune the exciter, what you're going to see is differences in intensity within the four LEDs. Some go out, some stay dim. But now watch this when they all become synchronized. Do you see what happened there? This is a, now I'm turning it out. You see we're going through the whole cycle again. I'm coming back and now they locked in. They're all at the same frequency now. Well, basically, they're all locking to the same frequency. Just wanted to put that up. It's called the Ring of Fire. It's four coils driven by an 18-1 that's been modified. But what is so startling from this is the extreme wide bandwidth we're getting out of it.